Hey y'all, it's Nicole from Cuz We Love to Scrap, and today I am working with the March Shimmers Color Kits Bundle, and this is what I'm going to be making today. Um, I do have a uh, process video for my layout and background that I made in my unboxing for Shimmers this month. I will link it down below so that you will have that available to you if you want to go and back and look at how I made this layout background. I used um, this one, the Artichoked and Vibes. That's um, the one that I mostly just sprayed everywhere. So then I just, um, I just sprayed it all over the place. Then I used this one, this shimmer is called Spruce It Up. And I kind of just added a little bit um, here and there in the artichoke. And then I also splattered around both um, colors. Then I followed up with the Inklings Dear John Letter. And this one is a very um, creamy, shimmery color. It's not... Um, like it's kind of a white. So I just um, splattered that on my whole layout to kind of add that um, cloudy appearance within my background. So I'm going to go ahead and take off this branding merchandising little strip here so that I can start my layout. And I'm going to use it like this. I thought I would, um, when I made this, I thought I would make a diagonal layout, but um, <laughs> of course I always just tend to put stuff right in the middle as a centralized um, light type layout. I have to do something on my phone. I don't know what I'm doing, um, but I'm doing something. And then I had to have a drink of tea and now we're ready to get back into it. So I'm gonna start with this paper and I'm gonna fussy cut a bunch of the flowers out, as you can see here. I'm gonna put those to the side because I'm going to um, go ahead and put my photos on it first. So I grab one of the papers from the kit. I think that's what I'm doing right now, looking through the kit to see which papers I want to use. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna use this one. And then when I put my photo on it, I was just like, no, too busy. So I use this paper, um, which has like a big graphic on it. So I didn't think I would use that. So I wanted to use the pink, cloudy, mixed media type um, paper. <laughs> So I go ahead and I cut those to four and a half by three and a half to go with my four by three photos. And I put them on, um, I do distress both of them. And I put them a little wonky on the mat. And then I put them on um, the paper a little bit wonky as well. As you can see here, I went ahead and um, went off camera, distressed and put them down with some foam tape. And now I'm gonna just take these flowers and kind of um, rough up the edges and then just start laying them all on the green mixed media. Um, and kind of trying to make them look like flowers in a field. That's my, what I'm trying to go for here. Uh, I only showed you a few so you didn't have to watch me do all of them. Um, but I just randomly put them everywhere. I did put two little ones in my daughter's hair. I thought that was cute. And then the rest I just um, placed around. And I just glued them down with art glitter glue because that is my go-to glue. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the ephemera or die cuts. And I, oh, nope, I got, grabbed the dots. And I use all three dots on this page um, just because they went so well. I put a, one of the flowers here. I put um, the floral one, which has like a printed floral background. I put, do put it over here to the right. I do not wind up putting it right there, but um, it goes in that general area. Here comes the ephemera slash die cuts. I'm gonna use this um, film strip on both sides of my photos. I'm not going to 
do it um, like one line. I'm going to do it off-centered, just like that. And then I'm going to start building up my clusters using all kinds of goodies from the kit. See, this is what I wind up doing with my dot over there. Uh, looks so cute. Then um, I'm going to add a flower here. And yeah, so I'm just going through the ephemera, looking to see what I can use. I do use that bunny up there. Um, I want another bunny. I love this bunny. It's like jumping for joy or something. I don't know. He's so cute though. Uh, I do find him a place on my page. So um, I am just kind of... He would have gone okay up there too, but um, for now, that's his resting spot, but that's not where he's going to go. So um, I am, again, looking for places to put bunnies, <laughs> and he goes right there. Um, also, just wanted to remind you that I will have a link to this March um, color kit bundle down below in the description so that you can find it and um, grab this color kit if you're interested. I, um, you can also put my name in the um, at checkout in like the, the comments or the notes section and you'll get a free gift with your purchase. So here is where I find um, Happy Easter. I'm gonna go ahead and use that as my title and then that jumping bunny is gonna go um, right where it is now. So um, he is gonna be happy there. I decide to use all these little Easter eggs and put them with the flowers, like they're kind of hidden amongst the flowers. And um, there was some that were together, so I cut those apart. Um, what else am I doing here? I wind up um, thinking that I'm going to use this, but I don't. So I just throw that aside. Um, Got to get some more Easter eggs in there. I was thinking about putting those butterflies, but I wind up not doing that. Um, I'm pretty sure that I do not add anything else to this layout from the die cuts. And... Um, I'm gonna go off screen to go ahead and put them all down. Um, I just adhere either with glue or with uh, dimensional foam tape. I'm gonna add some simple journaling um, right here. Then I'm gonna add an XOXO up to the, yep, right there. And um, then I'm gonna add some doodles all around. I'm just gonna draw little circles I thought that was a cute addition to the page. And then I'm gonna be done. So um, thank you so much for watching today. Again, down in the description, I will have the link to uh, my unboxing, which shows how I made this green background. And then I'm also going to have the link to the Shimmers Color Kits Bundle, which is what I'm using here. And then um, that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for watching today. Until next time.